Hello and welcome to another episode of Go Glendora, bringing you highlights from city-sponsored events and activities and informing you about city programs and services. This episode highlights from the Community Services Foundation Play for Playgrounds Golf Tournament. And the Police Department invites you to participate in the Pink Patch Project. Plus, we recap the Glendora Library's Battle of the Books event. First, the Community Services Foundation Play for Playgrounds Golf Tournament. The Glendora Community Services Foundation held its first annual Play for Playgrounds Golf Tournament at the Glen Oaks Golf Course on Monday, September 23rd. More than 70 golfers teed it up to help support City of Glendora facilities and playground amenities. Foundation member Paul Lopez shared the vision for the Community Services Foundation. Well, the Community Services Foundation was started, I think we started about six or seven years ago. And uh, we wanted to start the foundation to do something for the youth sports, um, for the senior center. Something that would affect all of the residents of Glendora so that they could use it. So we wanted to make money to be able to help kids with scholarships and uh, maybe with some of the meals that happen at the senior center, okay. just some of the activities that take place in the, uh, in the city. Hopefully we can grow from here. People can get an understanding. So there are people on the course that don't understand what Community Services Foundation is about. So maybe after today, we'll, have a, uh, we'll start getting a foundation set for the future. Great, thank you. Following the success of the golf tournament, the foundation will be looking to host up to three fundraisers each year to help support the Community Services Department. To donate, or for more information about the Community Services Foundation, please call 626-914-8228. Next, the Glendora Police Department Pink Patch Project. Hi Glendora, I am Sergeant Shauna Salello from your Glendora Police Department. I'm here today to talk to you about the Pink Patch Project. As most of you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In order to support that cause, your Glendora officers may be wearing pink patches during the month of October. The Pink Patch Project started in 2013 when Seal Beach Police Department turned their patches pink in support of one of their own. In 2016, the Los Angeles County Chiefs of Police Association started a movement to get more officers and more agencies involved. Throughout the last four years, the Glendora Police Department has participated by turning our patches pink and changing them every year. Traditionally, the Glendora Police Department does not sell our patches to the public. However, during the month of October, we sell our pink patches to help support this cause. If you're interested in purchasing a patch, you can just come into the Glendora Police Department lobby and buy one there. The cost of each patch is $10, and all of the money that we earn goes toward breast cancer awareness. Also, follow our social media for events that we'll have throughout the month of October supporting this cause. Thank you for supporting our cause. Now, the library's 2019 Battle of the Books. Good evening and welcome to the Glendora Public Library's 12th Annual Battle of the Books. We're here tonight at Glendora High School's Event Center for what is sure to be an evening full of competition, knowledge, and fun. We have 19 teams of students ranging from 6th grade through 10th grade from schools all around Glendora and beyond. This evening's competition is based on three books, Spy School by Stuart Gibbs, The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman, and The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kamkwamba. The Battle of the Books is sponsored by the Glendora Public Library, GPL Friends Foundation, and Glendora Rotary Club. Good luck to all our teams and thank you for participating. Glendora High School, 
Thanks for watching. For more information about Glendora's events, activities, programs, and services, visit the city's website. We'll see you next time on a new episode of Go Glendora.